All right, let's go grocery shopping. All right, guys, so I am currently waiting for Aldi to open because today we're doing a grocery find video. So I'm super excited about this. I do grocery finds every Sunday on my Instagram stories and you guys love them. So I'm excited to be doing one today. We're going to just kind of try this. I haven't done them on YouTube before, but basically how it's gonna work is I'm gonna go into Aldi, take you guys with me and just kind of point out different things, different things about gentle nutrition, my input as a registered dietitian, what I would recommend Recommend, what I wouldn't recommend. We'll do some diet culture myth busting, like bogus marketing, and then also just point out some fun things. So I shop at Aldi most of the time and they always have fun things every single week. So that's what we're gonna do today. Now, before I head in, I have to let you guys know that today my gentle nutrition course has officially opened and it is only gonna be open for a handful of days. Now, this course is where I walk you through everything about nutrition from a non-diet intuitive eating perspective. And it is structured unlike any other program out there. I have specifically designed it to help you feel the difference when implementing nutrition. I don't just tell you what to eat because honestly, that's not gonna do you any good. I teach you how to feel the difference in your body so that you innately, internally, want to implement nutrition advice and it is completely customizable to your nutrition needs, and I show you how to do that in the course. If you have been working on not dieting and eating intuitively, but are worried that nutrition might feel diety, this course is for you. I'm literally gonna hold your hand and walk you through everything. I'm doing a live program. I'm gonna do weekly coaching every single week to make sure that you understand this stuff. I'm there with you every step of the way. Again, this is only available for the next couple of days, and when it opens back up again, the price is gonna be higher. Gentle nutrition is key to any intuitive eating journey, especially if you're at the place right now where you're like, I've gotten rid of my food rolls, I'm eating all the things, but I'm not feeling good. Gentle nutrition is probably the missing puzzle piece. Implementing gentle nutrition is also a very key step in finding what's called your set point weight. I talk about that a lot here on this channel. The weight that you're your body wants to be where it functions optimally and then it can maintain within a range effortlessly. No more weight cycling, all that weight going up and down. A stable weight, again, within a range is what we're aiming for. The weight that your body wants to be. I will put a link below with more info on the course. Like I said, it is only open for a couple more days, so snag it. I hope to see you in there, but for now, let's get to this. guys first to start off i love these apples these cosmic crisps they're so good they're the perfect like sweet crispness if you haven't tried this kind you must okay so let's talk about bread because this is something that i get a lot of questions about okay so let's start with this bread so this says 100 percent whole wheat bread so essentially what that means it's made of all whole wheat right so that's one option now here's another option that i want to talk about so this one says split top wheat see how it doesn't say 100 percent wheat okay so the difference between these two so this one it says wheat yes it has some wheat in there but doesn't necessarily mean it's all whole wheat so in terms of bread if you're looking for you wanting a whole grain you're wanting 100% wheat the fiber the extra nutrients I would recommend going for something that says 100% because this doesn't mean it's whole wheat this doesn't necessarily mean it's 100% so really this 100 is kind of what you're wanting to look for if that is something that you are looking for now here's the deal let's see so What's the difference, let's say, between this 100% whole wheat bread or even just the wheat and 
the white. Now this, we could go, this is honestly, we talk about whole grains. We have an entire lesson on it in the Judge Nutrition course, but this means that the grain has been refined. So a lot of the nutrients have been taken out of it. So like the fiber, really that nutrient dense core, when you think about like what a grain actually is, has been refined and removed. And that's why typically white bread is a lot fluffier. So here, let's put these two side by side and kind of discuss. So in terms of gentle nutrition of these three options, what I typically recommend is if you are kind of like bread is bread to me, I don't notice a huge difference, then I'd recommend, okay, sure. Then we'll get the little bit of gentle nutrition, that nutrient punch in there. But if you're like, I hate the taste of wheat bread, it's okay to pick refined grain, guys. The recommendation is about 50% of our grains to be whole. But again, you are gonna get a nutrient punch here. So if you're fine with either, sure, pick the whole wheat, but here's the deal. If you would feel guilt, stress, or anxiety over having the white bread, I would really recommend working on breaking that food rule, making peace with it, and then deciding what you like. That is key. That signals a food rule, not a food preference for having extra nutrients. Okay, I know this isn't food, but all the candles get me every time. They're so affordable and they honestly smell the best. Okay, I love, where is it? This butter chicken sauce, you guys. Let me grab it for you. This is my go-to when I need an easy dinner. Put this chicken and a can of mushrooms in a pan and then serve it with rice and a vegetable and like I use frozen broccoli a lot it's so good these you guys okay I seriously like stockpile these because they're, they're so easy to put in sauces stir fries anything like that it adds yes a little bit of a veggie punch but I really like that it just adds like a texture to it and makes it feel a little fancy you know all right guys quite possibly my favorite aisle the Aldi finds aisle so this is where they do like all their special stuff so this is where you see some fun stuff okay these cuban chips i think are my favorite chips of all time and i'm not usually a big potato chip girly but really the way that i kind of view any of these fun foods these are i think more soul nourishing than body nourishing right so for these i really think like i can enjoy these in with gentle nutrition specifically think about how would i feel if i ate this every single day again the key to implementing nutrition is to take all this stuff and ask ourselves how would this make me feel if i ate it every single day that is what we really want to focus on not should i eat it should i not because saying we shouldn't is going to make us want to eat it more so really ask yourself that it's, the key is making that connection you guys Ooh, these i'm a fan of these so for instance these might satisfy my crunchy, you know, salty desire. And this might feel better more on a daily basis. It's got a little bit of nutrients in there. It's likely got some, let's see, it's got some fiber in there, fabulous. So that, these would probably feel better on a day-to-day -day basis, but that doesn't mean I can't have me some Cuban chips when I want them. All right, my take on cauliflower rice. It is a fun way to eat a vegetable. It is not a replacement for a grain or other carb source like maybe this quinoa here. It's not gonna fill you up the same. It's not gonna give your body the energy it needs. It'll fill it full of volume. And yes, veggies are great, but we also have to make sure we're giving it enough energy. Otherwise, we're likely to wind up in the pantry like 20 minutes after dinner looking for something like the chocolate, which is has sugar in it. It's a quick carb source because we skipped out on the carb at mealtime. Carbs are not bad, you guys. We want them so fun s'mores all right so let's talk about these veggie corn chips so the reason that i would eat these is because oh they might have maybe a little different flavor they might they're fun colors right something different to try i would not take these because i think they're quote unquote healthier than just a regular chip option because the thing here is there's honestly not a ton of veggies in here. So again, nutritionally, these are pretty close to just regular ones. So yes, you absolutely can try these if you want, but this is kind of one of like the sneaky marketing things. A lot of times, like the actual veggie is pretty low on the ingredient list. So try things like this because you think they're fun, not necessarily because you think, oh my gosh, this is gonna be my, my veggie intake for the day. And price-wise, stuff like this is always way more expensive than the regular. I mean, that's like double what maybe I think over double than what their regular tortilla chips are. So personally, on the daily, I buy the regular because hashtag budget. I love all these sparkling water. These ones down here have a lot more flavor. They're almost like a little bit more juicy. Um, but I'm gonna grab one of these today just because I feel like it's, it's a fun way to shake up your water routine. So I'm gonna get the juicy peach. 
All right, let's talk about bean pastas, you guys. So let's take this. So this is soya bean pasta. I love bean pasta, right? I think it's great. It really is going to give you some fiber in there. That's amazing. It's going to help to keep you full. It's going to add some protein in there. I think it's a great option. But here's the thing. And this is what we experience a lot in my house. When you want like just regular pasta, you want like the fluffy regular pasta. Like the bean pasta is not gonna have the same satisfaction factor as this might be. So this is really like what we talked about with the bread. You have to ask yourself with, here's like kind of the golden staple of implementing judge nutrition. I always ask, would it take away from my satisfaction and enjoyment if I were to implement gentle nutrition? If the answer is no, then sure, go ahead and have some, you know, of the bean pasta. But if the answer is yes, then enjoy this, right? And find that pieces where it doesn't impact your satisfaction and enjoyment to implement gentle nutrition and also where it fits in your budget. Because again, this is 82 cents and this is 249. So we do have to think about things like accessibility and what we are able to do, but I'm a big fan of this, but it's not something I would necessarily eat exclusively because let's be honest, it is more expensive. And you can also add gentle nutrition to a meal like this by adding some protein, adding some fat, adding some veggies to get some fiber. There are other things you can do to add gentle nutrition to kind of like more basic staples like this. We also go through all of that in the course. Same thing as the cauliflower rice with the stuff, you guys. This is a fun way to eat a carrot, but it is not a replacement for pasta. And now if you want to try this stuff as a non-dieter, you absolutely can. But what matters is why and how you're using it. Again, fun way to eat a veggie, not a replacement for pasta. I'm a really big fan of these just frozen stir fries, especially just like when I talked about the butter sauce, just when you need a quick dinner, like this, you pretty much just add a protein source and some rice to this and like, boom, you're good to go. Okay guys, one of my biggest budget tips, and I do this all the time, pretty much exclusively, frozen veggies, you guys. So I always make these, and you just pop them in the microwave, they're done in six minutes, they're literally 89 cents. So good. So like me and my husband will like dominate a bag of those for dinner, but so much more affordable, you guys. So for budget wise tips, like frozen is fabulous. You're gonna get a ton of nutrients in there. They're not any quote unquote worse, you know, than the fresh. Use these, definitely. I swear every time I come to Aldi, they have new like of their version of Oreos. So red velvet is this week and latte cream. Okay, I can get down with those. I'm probably more apt to this than this. So when it comes to ice cream, I'm like much a regular ice cream girly. When I had food rules, I used to only let myself eat this, like the protein, the like super low calorie stuff. And it just does not satisfy the same. Like you have to eat a huge volume to be satisfied. Now that I know my hunger and fullness cues, my satisfaction cues, like I can eat this in a way that feels good to my body and not have to worry about, you know, binge eating it. Like that is the best. And again, price wise, you guys, like, Definitely, definitely love that in my wallet. Now, here's my take on like low fat ice cream. I don't think it's bad. So for instance, we buy this, um, you know, when we're in the mood for a caramel because they literally don't have any other like caramel options. Now, it is nice when you're looking for something a little bit lighter, but again, as everything, it depends on why you are choosing it. Are you choosing it because you're scared of fat? If that's the case, then it's important to look at, okay, we need to make peace with that and break that food rule. But if it's because, okay, caramel only comes in, you know, this option, then sure. One thing I do notice with this though, is it is less dense. So I do tend to have to kind of eat more of it to satisfy me if I'm really wanting a craving versus something kind of more rich like this. All right, guys, I hope that this video was helpful for you in some way that you learned a thing or two about gentle nutrition. We are just scratching the surface here with gentle nutrition as a whole, but also, I mean, the amount of things that we could go through inside of the store. So if you did like this video and you want to see more grocery find videos like this, then definitely give this video a like, leave a comment letting me know, and if there's any specific products you want me to review. And a reminder, if you do want to learn way more about gentle nutrition, 
the Gems Nutrition course is open from today until April 3rd of 2022, and then it is closing, and you won't be able to enroll anymore. I will link all the information in the description of this video so you can have everything you need to learn what you need about nutrition, to find your set point weight, and to feel good with the way that you're fueling your body in a non-diet way. A style of eating that includes both the fun foods like the Oreos that we saw and the chips, but also the more nutrient-dense foods. This is your last chance to snag this program at the current price. The next time it opens, the price is going to be higher. Be sure if you guys have any questions, as always, you can always comment and let me know. Happy to answer any. I hope to see you guys in there. You'll be hanging out with me for eight weeks learning all of the things. And if not, I will see you guys back next week regardless with another video packed with non-diet goodness. See you guys later.